Hi, my name is Michael Johnson with Film Compass, and today we're exploring all the fun things you can do in Golden Gate Park. This place is a great escape from the city and provides plenty of exciting attractions for those seeking adventure. The first on my list is the incredible underwater adventure known as Steinhardt Aquarium. Home to nearly 40,000 animals representing more than 900 unique species, Steinhardt Aquarium and the California Academy of Sciences offers guests many unique exhibits. First, there's the African Penguin Exhibit, where you can get a front row seat to these adorable flightless birds. Second, there's the California Coast installation, which dazzles the eyes. This is where you can get up close to all the diverse life seen right off the shores of California without having to get your feet wet. Next, there's the swamp that houses a massive albino alligator named Claude that likes to chill and occasionally give his tough armor a good scratch. This exhibit also houses a massive alligator snapping turtle and a few slithering snakes to gaze at. Last but not least is the amazing Philippine coral reef where from above you can stare down at the large rays that encircle the pool or head downstairs to see panoramic views of this diverse ecosystem. Daytime admission to get into the California Academy of Sciences runs about $50, but it's well worth the trip to stand among and discover all the amazing ecosystems this place has to offer. Next up is the Japanese Tea Garden, a place that'll have you feeling like you're far away from the big city. Recognized as one of San Francisco's top destinations, the Tea Garden is a true gym in Golden Gate Park. Entry is free for San Francisco residents or just $10 for non-residents. The park is full of elements from traditional tea gardens, such as miniaturization representing the small bridges that span throughout the park. Another traditional element of Japanese tea gardens is extended scenery, which is beautifully demonstrated by the full and lush tree line that envelops the entire garden, completely hiding the urban cityscape outside the garden. The tea garden, of course, has a tea house where you can enjoy your food overlooking the peaceful ponds and small waterfalls. The Japanese tea garden isn't the only beautiful garden located inside this massive park, though. The San Francisco Botanical Garden is a must-see place for those looking to get away from all the noise in the big city. This garden is also free for residents and only $13 for non-residents. Stepping inside this unique urban oasis, you'll find over 9,000 unique plants and the occasional Canadian goose to keep you company. Tranquil ponds and large fountains, as well as tall trees and the beautiful plants below them will have you catching up on nature. The park consists of many paths that stretch in all different directions, leading you to many exotic plants that you can't find anywhere else in the city. Officially opened in 1940, the San Francisco Botanical Garden has been hosting nature lovers and those simply wanting to get away from it all for over 80 years. In 1902, the strong westerly winds were harnessed here through the power of a giant Dutch windmill. This windmill had the incredible important job of pumping Golden Gate Park's irrigation system. The success of the Dutch windmill in the north led to the construction of the Murphy windmill in the south. Over the years, as the irrigation system increasingly depended upon the motors, maintenance of the windmills was neglected to the point that they ceased to function, but they were eventually restored to their former glory in 1980. You've now reached the end of Golden Gate Park where you can enjoy Ocean Beach and its golden white sand. It's just you, the waves, and the seabirds at Ocean Beach. Located on the westernmost border of San Francisco, adjacent to Golden Gate Park, this beach is great for those long walks, but the water is frigid and the currents are quite hazardous. So unless you're here to surf, I would suggest staying on dry land. The surfing here is truly something to see. It's almost like watching a show while you get to enjoy a day out in the sun. Many of the kite surfers here are very experienced and will get massive air from the strong winds sometimes found at this beach. That's everything. I hope you enjoyed this list of things to do in Golden Gate Park. Stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching.